Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at VMware. And today, I'd like to demonstrate Skyline's integration with vRealize Cloud subscription by showing you how the two services work together to easy onboarding and activation of vRealize Cloud Universal subscriptions. If you're not already aware, vRealize Cloud Universal is a hybrid subscription offering that gives you the flexibility to consume both on-prem and SaaS vRealize Suite products and services using a single subscription license. But that's not the only benefit. vRealize Cloud Universal also gives you the freedom to move workloads between on-prem and SaaS offerings interchangeably without the requirement to purchase new licenses. And this is where things get really interesting if you're a Skyline Advisor customer who has purchased vRealize Cloud Universal but have not onboarded or activated your licenses. You'll be happy to know that Skyline will identify eligible products, notify you of their status, even alerting you if you have on-prem licenses that are not leveraging vRealize Cloud Universal license keys, and redirect you to vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager to complete the entire process. To begin this three-step process, simply click the Get Started button. Step one is giving Skyline permission to share your organization name and account ID when it redirects you to the vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager. So let's accept and proceed to step two, where we will select the vRealize products that we like to onboard to the Subscription Manager. As you can see, this organization has several vRealize Cloud Universal licenses for vRealize Log Insight and vRealize Operations that aren't activated, as well as some on-prem perpetual licenses for vRealize Automation and vRealize Operations that are not utilizing vRealize Cloud Universal license keys. So for the sake of the demo, I'm simply going to activate my vRealize Cloud Universal license of Log Insight by selecting it and then proceeding to step three, where we'll need to select an order ID to proceed to the next step where Skyline redirects us to the vRealize Subscription Manager in a new tab. And this process may take a moment or two. And upon successful completion, you'll see a notification that vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager is now ready for access. Clicking on the link will direct you to the license management page in vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager where the details are pre-filled and carried over from Skyline. Under Add Customer Connect Details, enter your VMware Customer Connect password and click Validate and Add. Note, if you're already added to vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager service, your Customer Connect username is auto-filled. And now for the next step, you'll need to select a cloud proxy. To begin, download the Cloud Proxy OVA, and then navigate to your vSphere Web Client Data Center, where you need to right-click on the name of your vCenter server cluster, and then select Deploy OVF. When prompted, paste the location information of your OVA file as a URL to install the OVA on your vCenter server. Click Next to continue. Accept the source validation. Select the name in a folder. Select a compute resource. Review the details. Accept the license management agreement. Select your storage. And select the network. When prompted to customize the template, enter the VMware Cloud Services OTK key. To retrieve it, Return to the Install Cloud Proxy page and click the Copy Key icon. The OTK key expires 24 hours after generation, so to avoid using an expired key, click Regenerate before proceeding. At this point, enter the root user password for your virtual appliance. Be sure to enter a user-friendly name as your Cloud Proxy display name since it will display on your VMware Cloud Services portal. Now, this deployment takes a few minutes to finish. And when done, locate the cloud proxy you just installed and click Power On. Return to the Cloud Proxy page in vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager to confirm that the status of your cloud proxy is active and tied to the vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager service. Select it and then click Next. At this point, simply enter your admin login credentials for the product to ensure that the subscription manager can communicate with it. 
And at this point, once you've completed setup, click the submit button. Upon submission, a few things are happening in the background. License and version details are being fetched and inventory is being updated to reflect the latest information. And then once the process is complete, you'll be able to see your license information, including license key, last inventory sync date, and the status of your connection. Now we can go back in the skyline to see that the onboarding and activation process for the single instance of vRealize Log Insight that we chose at the top of the demo is complete. You'll also be able to see that both vRealize Log Insight Cloud and vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager are now included as VMware Cloud Services along with Skyline for this organization. Now let's replace our older perpetual license keys for vRealize Automation and vRealize Operations with the newer vRealize Cloud Universal Term license keys and then connect them to vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager by clicking on the Get Started button. Since we've already gone through the onboarding and activation workflow, the key replacement workflow would be much faster. Simply click Accept and Proceed. Now let's select the perpetual licenses for vRealize Automation and vRealize Operations and then click Proceed. And as before, Skyline will redirect us to the Subscription Manager. Clicking on the link will redirect you to the License Management page in vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager. And within the Activate vRealize Cloud Universal banner, simply click Apply License. And since we've already set up our VMware Customer Connect credentials earlier for this organization, we can select it again before clicking Next. At this point, we need to apply the vRealize Cloud Universal license to activate our on-prem product and click Next. Now, if for any reason you could not find any licenses, refresh the Customer Connect account from the Settings page or check with your admin for the right permission to download licenses from your Customer Connect account. And after the license has been applied, we need to select the cloud proxy that we set up earlier in the demo before heading to the next step of adding products. Let's begin by adding our first product, vRealize Automation, along with all of its credentials, including version number, domain name, and password. And as you do this, the subscription manager will go through the validation process to ensure that it can communicate with the product. And once the validation is done, we can add the second product, vRealize Operations, by clicking the Add button. As before, enter all the appropriate credentials to ensure that the subscription manager can communicate with the product. And upon successful validation, click the Submit button. At this point, you can monitor the status of your request by clicking on Details. And as before, License and version details are being fetched and inventory is being updated to reflect the latest information. And when the process is complete, you'll see the update here. At this point, we can go back to Skyline to see that the license types for all of the products that we activated from here have been updated to reflect that they're now being monitored by vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager. Now, please note that for the replace license keys, it may take a day before the license type is updated. And with that, this concludes the demo of vRealize Cloud Subscription Manager's integration with Skyline Advisor and how the two work together to ease the onboarding and activation of vRealize Cloud Universal subscriptions. I hope you found it informative.